child. Each time one will be this. What are we going to do now? I don't know. My father will kill me. Why did the pregnancy have to come now? What kind of wahala is this? I am not even ready to have a child now. Me too. But I can't harm this innocent child. I will keep it. If you keep this baby, how are we going to survive? This is the reason why I told you to look for a job. But you refused. This is a bad time for this child to come. And I won't want you to abort it either. We will have to leave this compound to my village. At least my father built a mud house. We can go there and manage till you give birth. And then we'll come back to the city and sell the child and use the money to rent an apartment and start our life. You know there is nothing we can do at the moment. We need money. So selling the child is our only option. I'm so disappointed in you right now. You are not fit to be a father. I will rather suffer and raise this child alone than sell it. So now you want to do as if you really love this child, Abby? He is also my child and I love him too. It's just that things are hard. When we are financially stable, we can go and claim him. You will go and claim him? Is he an item that you want to claim? Why am I even following you to say him, Seth? How do you know it is a he? I dream that my first child is a male child. He soon to be daddy. But wait, oh, don't you think this pregnancy will go a long way in making your father accept us? What makes you think so? No matter what happens, he can never chase his only child out of the house with pregnancy. Yes, you are right. And he won't let me have a child out of wedlock. Why didn't I think of this? Let us use this pregnancy to our advantage. Yes, my love, you are right. Bestie Alpha. I'm done, dear. I know they even see your brick light again. Where you they hide? I'm still around, Sha. You know they find me now. My dear, I just need a small time for myself. Why? What's wrong? Hmm. <clears throat> my friend. I am not fine at all. Ever since David told me he would leave and never come back, my heart has skipped a thousand beats already. I have been thinking so much about it. I don't even know if I made the right decision. I just feel sad for no reason. David came back again. Yes, he did. He came back to apologize for the second time, but I chased him out and he swore never to come back. Then let him go. If he said he won't come back, let him go. Go to give you another man. I didn't say I am in need of a man. I have a man already. Andrew is okay for me. I don't know why my heart skips any time I think of David. You and Andrew are still together. Yes, we are. We talked on phone this morning. Why did you ask? Hmm, now wow. I saw your Andrew yesterday with a woman in his arm kissing and touching her everywhere. <laughs> that was not Andrew. Maybe someone that looks like him because I was with Andrew throughout yesterday. My dad went for a business meeting from morning and came home late at night so I used the opportunity to go and visit him. Eh, hey, I know what I saw. That was Andrew. No dear, that wasn't Andrew. My baby will never cheat on me. I know him. Okay, well, good for you. So what do you plan to do with David now? Will you call him? I will not call him. My pride won't let me. How can I call him and apologize when he betrayed me and made me lose the only hope to get a job? I won't call him. I know he will call me. He won't be able to stay. What if he doesn't call you? He will call me. He loves me. What do you think? Okay, my own opinion. I would advise you to let go of these two guys and start to live afresh. You are a very beautiful man. You will find your own man soon. Babe, you said you will have something to tell me. Go ahead, I'm listening. No, not now. Talk about it later. What would you like to eat for dinner today? I can't decide yet. I'll think about it later. Maybe I'll just eat outside. No, you don't have to eat outside. I'll cook dinner for you before going. That's nice of you, thank you. So, do you have any dirty clothes? Yes, I do. But it's not true. I'll give them to the dry cleaner this night. No, don't bother yourself. I'll wash them for you. Thank you. Is there anything else you would like me to do? See, Joy, I know there is something you want to tell me. Although you usually do all these things for me. But today, something seems off. It is just as if you want to impress me. And you don't want me to get angry about something. Um, baby, I, 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 I'm pregnant. <laughs> it is not yet April. So your April phone won't work on me. 
So be serious about what you wanted to say. I am serious. I am two weeks pregnant. You are pregnant and you are telling me. Is that not supposed to be your business? I don't understand. How is it my business when we are in this together? We are in what together? You are the one that is pregnant, not me. So that is your business. Andrew, please stop. I am pregnant for you. You'll be a father soon and I am not aborting this baby. I don't think the baby is mine. Can you swear I'm the only man you have slept with since we started dating? What is the meaning of all this? Whenever a woman gets pregnant, you will all start asking questions as if you're expecting something else after having an unprotected sex. Pregnancy is not mine. Go and look for the owner. It is yours, Andrew. You're the only man I have slept with since we started dating. Don't deny it. <laughs> I believe you. This is not a laughing matter. I am not aborting this baby whether you like it or not. How much do you need for the abortion? I am keeping it. You should keep it on your own. If you think I will marry you because of this pregnancy, then continue deceiving yourself. So why did you put me in a family way if you knew you wouldn't marry me? That one is your business. Go and get rid of that in your stomach. Grace, even after all my warning, even after everything I told you, you still went ahead to open your leg for that useless ingrid. <laughs> Daddy, please. I am so sorry. I don't even know how it happened. Shut up your mouth. You don't know how what happened. Did he rape you? Did he drag you from this house to his apartment? You kneel here and you tell me you don't know how it happened. Are you all right? <laughs> Daddy, please, I am so sorry. Don't you dare tell me you are sorry. You left these houses yesterday just because you didn't want to go to the village. Only for you to come back today and tell me you are pregnant. <laughs> what an expensive joke. Daddy, remember you said you need grandchildren. Since I am your only child and you are getting old, I think it is better I keep the child. Everything happens for a reason. I am very disappointed in you. Why do I feel like you purposely got pregnant so you can marry MD? That is not true, Daddy. I am genuinely sad. In fact, at some point, I felt like aborting this child. But then again, it is a blessing from God. Well done. I don't even know what to call you, Seth. I hope you have planned out your life already because you can't live with me while carrying this pregnancy. So, Daddy, where do you want me to go? You know I have nowhere else to go. Are you really sure you love MD and you want to marry him? Yes, Dad. I love him. Go and call him for me. Good afternoon, sir. There is nothing good about this afternoon. Just sit down. Thank you, sir. My daughter said you are responsible for her pregnancy. Sir, I am responsible. She is carrying my child. What is your plans for her? The plan I have for her is for her to give birth to my child successfully and take care of him successfully. Child, God, why me? Just look at the kind of man you want to marry. I will keep on saying that I'm disappointed in you. There are so many young, handsome and hardworking men all over the world. You could have chosen one of them, but you want to marry MD. I will let you marry him and leave you to your fate. Wow, thank you very much, Daddy. I really appreciate. God bless you real good. Landlord, thank you for this opportunity given to me. I promise that you will not regret giving her to me. MD, I will transfer the sum of 10 million naira to your account. Use it and start a business that will profit you and enable you to take care of the child. Wow, Landlord, thank you very much. God bless you. Don't worry, you will not regret giving me the 10 million naira. Chai, may God bless you for me. Thank you, sir. Daddy, God bless you. Thank you.